All right, figure I'd do a quick little gut overview on something I just picked up. Obviously, you can see it, and you can see this too. It's a Microtech Combat Truodon, or however the fuck you say that word, uh, if that even is a word. Um, single edge black tactical standard 143-1T. Uh, this is the um, Combat Truodon, not to be confused with the regular Truodon, which is smaller. Um, this one's bigger and more expensive. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, um, I think it's one of their, it's probably their beefiest OTF, um, <clears throat> well, double action, of course the Halos are bigger, but, um, and the Makora is also bigger, but it's real skinny. I guess you could say this is their, their most heavy duty OTF, if, if you want to call in, uh, out the front heavy duty, this would be it, uh, <clears throat> it's really cool. Perfect size for me. Um, you can see this one's got all black everything. Um, there's the uh, manufacturer date and serial number and Microtech logo. Your firing button, um, pocket clip, which is good. A little bit too deep a carry for me, but you know, whatever, it's an OTF. Um, real nice weight to this. <clears throat> really nice actually um, I've got this in a trade it's brand new obviously never been used um, and here we go let's go ahead and fire it because I know that's what everybody's waiting for fires pretty hard um, really nice this is the uh, obviously the Bowie blade shape which I think is cool as shit <clears throat> really, really cool. It's probably the one I would have picked had I bought one uh, myself. Either that or a, uh, some sort of double edge. But I really like this belly shape uh, a lot. <clears throat> Online, when you look at the Combat Truodon, if you can find a website that has specs that tells you the blade thickness, it says like, oh shit, I don't know, like, uh, There's basically everywhere I found says the blade stock is like less than two millimeters. When, when in reality it's not. This is every bit of a three millimeter thick blade stock. Um, it just is. That's that's all there is to it here. I'm gonna try to show you it next to a pair of two, which is three and a half. I know this is super redneck and ghetto, but whatever. It's a three mil blade stock. Let's take my word for it. It's not a less than two or a two millimeter. It's three mil blade stock. <clears throat> this particular one is S35. I don't know if this piece of shit is going to be able to pick all this fancy jazz up. There it is. Sorry for shaking like a heroin addict, but that's one of the perks of being addicted to cigarettes. Um, yeah, here she is. Belly blade. Cool as shit looking, I think, with that two-tone blade. I love how Microtech does that. <clears throat> just fucking badass looking, really. I mean, to me, it just looks sweet. <laughs> um, there's the other side. The Bowie blade is cool. Really cool, especially for an OTF to have a Bowie blade shape. It's kind of funny. Really extremely, extremely pointy. Really nice. Um... <clears throat> The knife is really cool. The action on this thing is crazy. Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to show that in video, but just take my word for it. I mean, it fires fast and it fires hard, and that's just it. I mean, it's, it, <laughs> it fires hard. Sorry, I'm like burping up all kinds of shit, which I don't even know why I haven't eaten in like four hours, but uh, I guess it's just because I'm fat. <coughs> but... What else can I say about this thing? It's fucking cool. Uh, you got your little pommel with your little hardened ball bearing right there for bashing windows or whatever you want to bash. Um, pretty sweet. Um, can I find anything wrong with this? Um, not really, no. Uh, as far as uh, finishing, is is done very well on this aluminum. Uh, I see no rough finishing marks at all, which is very impressive. Uh, to me, because I know that 
you will see machining marks on a lot of uh, aluminum or a lot of production knives in general. Um, any problems with the blade? No, not that I can see. Very nicely finished. I did notice maybe, you know, one or two kind of rough spots in the uh, bevel. Uh, you can see one there. Maybe somebody dropped it or something. Well, not dropped it, but rubbed it up against something before they put it together. I don't know. Extremely clean. Um, pretty damn sharp. Um, not quite Spyderco sharp on this one. I'm just, you know, using that as a standard. Um, I don't know why. Most of the time I get Microtex, they are ridiculously sharp. This one's sharp. Don't get me wrong. It's sharp. Plenty sharp, but it's not quite ridiculous sharp. Um... Really, really cool. Makes a great carry knife if you're into carrying um, knives that are legal to carry in your area and getting felonies. It's really cool to carry. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's my area. It carries great, though. I mean, you know, you see, that's that's what's in your pocket. It's very slim. It's like you know, five and a half ounces. Um, it's really cool. Uh, Really, really nice to carry because of how slim it is, but, you know, I do run the risk of getting hemmed up there. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, man, that sounded trailer. Um, you can see... Well, no, you can't see. Wow, it's like on camera, it just fucking disappears. Let me try to see the blade. There you go, there's a blade. It comes right up to the top. And when I say right up to the top, I mean they use every bit of that handle. And as soon as you turn sideways, it disappears. Absolutely perfect. Very impressive. Of course, if you stick your finger down in there, yeah, you can get, you can feel the blade. But if you're a dumb enough jack off to do that, you deserve to cut your finger. <clears throat> it won't cut you though. I mean, if you stick your finger in that fat of your finger, I can feel the blade. But you know, we go like that, nothing. Um, fit perfectly. As far as open blade play, I mean, there's not enough to hear it. Um. Of course, there is some blade play. This is an OTF. But again, uh, very, very minor blade play for an OTF. Um, the only other OTFs I've handled are, you know, cheap gun show shit, which are terrible, and they have enough blade play to literally kill you. The blade sounds like it's about to fall out of the damn thing, even when you just move it around like this. I mean, you can still hear it. This one, pretty solid. I mean... It does have some, don't get me wrong. You can hear it. Oh, I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. But, <clears throat> pretty damn solid for an out the front knife. And the action, like I said, is just ridiculous. Extremely ridiculous. Fires hard. And really, really cool. Um, I don't know much else to say about it. This one's S35, Bowie Blade, Combat Truodon, all black everything. Um, cool as shit. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not as much of a stickler on these OTFs as I am other folding knives. Because, like I said, <clears throat> they all got a little bit of blade play. It's expected. Um, so it's okay. I mean, they're going to have it. That's just how it goes. But, let me see if I can... Do this without totally fucking up everything. Here's a little size comparison. Paramilitary 2. Um, the Combat Truodon is bigger. Quite a bit bigger. But of course, you know, a three and a half inch blade. I believe this is right under a four inch blade. Three and three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and a really big handle, too, as well. Super cool knife. If you're into OTFs, I know a lot of people aren't, especially the price range that these are at. Plus, the Combat Truodon seem pretty hard to find right now. That doesn't mean next year they're not going to be readily available, but right now they're fairly hard to find, especially this one. Well, really any of them. But um, if you're into these, if you want an OTF that's kind of heavy duty, if you want to call an OTF heavy duty, uh, this would be the one for you. Um, really, really cool. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I'm glad I got it. And it's, it's just cool. It's just one of those things you show people and they're like, holy shit. 
And you're like, yeah, I'm pretty much a badass, but it's not really that serious. And then they just look at you like you're an idiot. But you're like, you know, just fuck off. This is cool. <laughs> this just made me a jackal. All right, guys, that's enough. Ten minutes of me talking bullshit about a OTF. Microtech comes with a little stupid pouch. Comes with a box. And the inside of the box it says it's sharp. It should be sharp. It's a knife. That's it. If you have any questions, just um, email me, comment, PM me. If you have my phone number, text me. All right, later.